my man. Speech. First of all, I want to thank my connect. The most important person with all due respect. Thanks to the duffel bag, the brown paper bag. Interview now. Um, Mr. Ike Atkinson, you know, he's been on this earth 85 years. Uh, it's an honor, such an honor. He's only been on for two, but during this uh, stint of his uh, bid at uh, numerous of prisons in the United States, um, we were talking about how Mr. Frank Lucas took his story and made it his own. So what I have to say is this. Frank's a damn liar. Anything he said about Nick, anything he said about the drugs, it just ain't true. And if he think it is, let him sit across the table from me. And I got some witnesses. You hear that, Frank? Yeah. You got Thank Ike you. Atkinson, the smack sergeant, Thank you. calling you to the table to Thank clear you. this up. Thank you. you know, I know that Hollywood paid you a lot of money, yes. but this man did 32 long years in prison. I tell how, in this book, how I got this. How you transported. That's right back to the States right. and everything like that. And I'm going to tell you this right now. I was shocked when I was doing my 30, when I was on my, th between my 31st and my 32nd year of confinement that I did straight. Mm, flat, 32 flat, years in penitentiary. Right. A mm. friend of mine sent me a book. And on that book, Frank Lucas had, had virtually invented me. Right. <laughs> right. me tell, you know, everything that I did, he done. You know, mm -hmm. But he wasn't telling it like that. Right. He was saying that's what he did. Right. Right. You haven't done any of it. Yeah. Now, Frank used to buy drugs for me. Uh, Frank bought drugs for me about three straight years. And uh, before that, he got them from my nephew, mm -hmm. who's also from North Carolina. Mm -hmm. North Carolina. And Frank is from North Carolina, right? From 16 miles from where I live. Right, right, where I was right. Born at, and everything. So, so my book, my book uh, came about by Ron coming to the prison. Mm -hmm. talked to visiting me. you. Visiting me, talking right. about it. I told him, he asked me if I know what was going on. I told him, no, I didn't know. Well, what was it? He said, man, it's a guy outside. Everything, no. He, he talked to me. He said, didn't you, Ron asked me, says, uh, didn't you get tried down here in North Carolina for smuggling drugs from Thailand and uh, about 20 or 30 people down here and all up the East Coast got rent? I said, I sure did. He said, well, have you, he said, you know Frank? I said, yeah. He said, well, man, Frank is using your name, claiming that he came to uh, call you up in Thailand, came and did all this and everything. Man, I looked at the paper. I said, well, I've been talking about Everything I saw in that was wrong. He duplicated everything you did. Absolutely. Now, if you guys don't understand what he's saying, I'm, uh, if you watch the movie American Gangster, you know, you, uh, uh, Frank Lucas had a cousin. And he was supposed to be the cousin in the movie. This is Hollywood, but here, this in North Philadelphia, Black and Nobel, this is real life, live and direct. Years old, so the book will be valuable, more valuable in another. I think you might hit a hundred, brother, because Joe preserved you, and you're from the military, so I know you're in shape. Yeah, I So, how did you, Mr. I Atkinson, transport the drugs and the heroin from Bangkok or from the Asia to America? I trans. I'll, I'll go this far with you, because of what I tell says in the book and everything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't tell everything right. about it. I'll mm -hmm. tell you what I did. Uh, uh, I had a route that I followed, that I had discovered, that if you take this route, and there was no, there was no check to see whether you had drugs or not. Let me give you an example. If you, uh, this is the secret, this is what Frank Lucas don't know when you go going around and say. The secret, the way I was transporting the drugs was strictly on military cargo flights. Now, why would I do that? Military, co military co uh, cargo. cargo flights, when they drop the cargo off in, in Saigon or in Thailand, they turn around and go back, go back. Well, if there are any Sikhs, uh, anybody traveling space available, all those people can ride on that plane. Well, when you come back into the States, now there's a lot of places out there come back in the States. I ain't gonna say, well, I came back in the States. I had, that's something in the book that I had to deal with and I made the decision 
that I wouldn't. Uh, pick. But if push came to mm -hmm. if somebody offered a, us, a, me, us a lot of money, mm -hmm. <laughs> I might change my mind and tell them. <laughs> but they ain't no mind, you know, you know, it was in doubt about. Unbeknown to me, the DEA would come out in the morning, send the agents out, mm -hmm. uh, buy a sample here, mm -hmm. over there on the other side of town to buy a sample to take it back to their lab. They know exactly yeah. where it came from. Chapter 2 in this book right here tells you everything about the cadaver. Mm -hmm. That was the biggest lie Frank Lucas ever told. Mm -hmm. Frank Lucas ain't never been on a military flight. I took him on a civilian flight for the four days he wanted to go with his wife and his brother to Thailand. And he was never... And I got, and I got, when he, he, he was went, never in the military, right? Never, right? never. And I got, got news for you, too. Mm -hmm. when the, the day he shows up, I got four people beside myself know that I took him to Thailand, talked to him in Thailand, where he got the idea about the cadavers, why he used that and everything. I'm going to tell you one day. Okay. <laughs> well, as long as we get the information yeah. first, right yeah. here at WeShipToPrisons.com. Right. That's the name of our company. Right. So right. I want you to let the people know right now where they can pick your book up. Let them know that they can get it at WeShipToPrisons.com. Okay. okay. Now, uh, that is very important. Mm -hmm. The doggone prison system, the federal prison system, get mighty nasty at times to require a man incarcerated for year after year after year, and you can't get a doggone magazine in unless he comes to a special place. This is a special place here to get your book because they can send it in. They can You pay for your book here, and they can get it to your loved ones in prison. So I uh, just want to remind you that there ain't no excuse for saying that he didn't know it. Blue Magic. That's a brand name. Like Pepsi. That's a brand name. I stand behind it. I guarantee it. They know that even if they don't know me any more than they know the, the, the chairman of General Mills.